Hey guys, this is Ryan123 here, and today before I start the video, I just wanted to say um, two things before. Um, the first thing is thank you to those of you that have been sharing my videos. I don't really ask you to share my videos, so it's really cool when I get on and see that like three of you have shared or whatever, and it just helps to get my videos passed around so that other people can see them and they can get help on Roblox or watch a video if they're bored or whatever. And the second thing is that um, I know it seems like I have been kind of ignoring some of your guys' requests, and I really have, and I promise I have them all written down right here, all the ones that I'm working on in their status, but um, it takes time to do, and I only really put out one tutorial a day, so it takes time to go down the list especially when I get about two more every day so um, anyways let's go ahead and jump into the video so as you can see here today we have two suggestions this one by Jason P, Jason P. isn't really about the video it's just more of a idea um, and he says couldn't you just show what we're making at the beginning of the video um, I really like that idea. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot in this one and maybe the next few and you guys you guys can tell me how you um, like it if you think it's better. Um, and then the request for today is we are going to be making a run walk GUI which in hindsight I probably should have done this a long time ago but his has an interesting little twist on it. He wants an um, energy um, factor where as if it hits zero like basically it's like stamina so if it hits zero you stop running and then it will recharge when you're not running um so first i'm going to show you how to make run walk and then i'm going to add in the energy so you can have whichever one you want um so let's go ahead and jump into the studio oh yeah i'm gonna get my best hundred meter dash time get up to the starting oh yeah just me and the timer ooh running running oh yeah oh yeah oh what I died right before the finish line energy walk hey guys this is Ryo 123 I hope you enjoyed my little um introduction thing I know that was kinda stupid but hey you guys wanted to see what it did did dud so <laughs> to start off um you're going to need three buttons to in a screen gui like this three buttons name them accordingly next um yeah you're gonna want to put set their text to run walk and energy um yeah you guys know how to do that right i would hope so okay um next thing you're gonna want to do is inside of the control or the screen GUI sorry I don't know why mine's named control let me just rename it so that it looks like yours there we go inside of the screen GUI you're going to want to place a int value it's this one which basically is just a value that stores a number you're going to want to name it I energy and you're going to want the value to be 100 all right so let's start with the easy script which is walk so let's just put a script in like that and this script is really simple we're just going to say function die because I want it to be called die we're going to say um, script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot um, what is it? Character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals 16. Because 16 is the default walk speed for Robloxians. Um, and then down here, you're going to want to say script dot parent dot mouse button one down dot semicolon connect die there we go now just to show you that this works 
See, I am walking the same speed and it's not throwing any errors. Now for the run, we're going to insert another script. And just so you guys know, this is probably going to be a longer tutorial. Go ahead and open back up the walk and just copy and paste. But instead of 16, change the walk speed to 26 or whatever you feel like. I prefer 26 because that's 10 more than the original. And as you can see, we can run now. We're going extra fast. If this is too slow for you, just raise the number. Um, it really depends on how big your map is or what you're doing. Now, if you just want to run G walk GUI, you're done. You can just leave now. Because now, here comes the tricky part, is with the energy. So the first and easiest part of the energy, you're going to want to go back into the run script. And we're going to want to make sure... See, this is the one in run. And we're going to want to make sure that you can't run unless you have at least some energy. So we're going to make an if statement. We're going to say if, well, let's make it a variable because then it's easier. n equals script dot parent dot parent dot i energy. Okay. So then we're going to say if n dot value is not equal to zero then and then we have to put another end and this will make it so that we can only run if our energy is above zero now here comes the tricky script the energy script so go ahead and put a script inside of the energy and we're going to need a lot of variables here First, we're going to need our n again, n equals script dot parent dot parent dot i ener oh crap dot i energy. <clears throat> Next, we are going to need our player. Then our you know, then our character. Or I mean not script. Game dot workspace stop find first or semicolon find first child player dot name. Then we're gonna need our humanoid, um, which is character find first child humanoid there we go then we're going to need a infinite loop and I forgot about this just so that our t script has time to set up just do a wait three or just even three or two or three whichever one I think two will be okay um, just because some the player actually arrives before the character and if you run this right off the bat it will throw an error saying there is no character so you need at least a little bit of a wait time because this is just a continuous loop so the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that the play because what this script is going to do is it's going to deplete the energy whilst we're running and then it's going to recharge it if we aren't running so the first thing we're going to want to do of course is to make sure if the player's even running. And make sure you spell walk speed with S capitalized too, or else it will throw an error. It's 26 then. So this is saying if the player's walk speed is 26, which means they are running, um, you ha you'd have to change that if you wanted them to run faster or slower. Um, then so if they're running we're going to want to um, deplete their energy so we're going to say if sorry well first of all to make this easier we're going to want to um, check to see if it's at zero so that we can make them walk again you'll understand this in a second Uh, 
Um, do I need this here? No, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> walk speed equal. Or sorry, human dot walk speed equals sixteen. Energy e dot value equals one. I keep forgetting you have to use dot value. Did we do that in the run script? Okay, good. We did. All right. So. What this is saying is if we're all out of energy, then you're going to make them walk again. Um, and then we are going to say n dot value equals n dot value minus 1. Wait point um, 0, 0.05. Okay. Then... We are going to say else. So you know how this is structured, right? This end belongs to this while true do. This if, or this end belongs to this if. But we're also putting an else with this end. Um, sorry if that's confusing, but that's just the way it works. So this one is saying if they're completely out of energy, reset them back to... Or reset them back to walking speed and then it will um, yeah this however I'm sorry guys I'm stupid so, <laughs> so what this one is saying is if they're running minus one each time no matter what and wait point five this is what you want to change for how fast the energy depletes. Um, make it lit, make the number littler to make the energy deplete faster. Make the number bigger to make it deplete slower. Um, and then, if it's zero, then this is why we set them back to walking. And the reason we set this to one instead of zero is because it's going to minus one anyways, and we don't want to have to deal with negative numbers, so it will end up as zero. Okay, this one is if they're walking, and we want to recharge their run speed. So we're going to say if n dot value is less than 100, then, and in here, we're going. This is where we want to um, replenish the wa the energy. N dot value equals n dot value plus one. And this is really just simple math, um, as you can see. So, and then we are going to want a weight. I think I put like point two here. Yeah. So again, with this, this is how fast you want your um, <clears throat> energy to replenish. Um, yeah, so the littler number makes it replenish faster. The bigger number makes it replenish slower. There we go. Just get that out there. Um, so this is pretty much it for our script. You're going to want to make sure that you have the ifs where I have them or I mean the weights, or else it will throw an error and your script will just loop eternally and crash your game. So just in case that happens, I'm actually going to save because <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work, but it should. So let's go ahead and run. Oh wait, we didn't wait for it to... Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. Sorry guys, we forgot to make it say stuff. It works, it just doesn't tell us that it's working. So, <laughs> just at the bottom down here underneath this second end, just say um, script.parent.text equals, en sorry, let me zoom in, energy, semi, dot, dot, and dot, value. Sorry about that, guys. All right, now let's run. And as you can see, our energy depletes. When we get to zero, we stop running. See, we're slow again. 
and we can just keep running and we can actually stop running if our let's let our energy charge up a bit and then if we push walk Wow, after you run, it makes your walking seem so slow. But anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post down in the comments. Yeah. Or if you have any suggestions for a future video, um, that would also be appreciated. Um, and what else is there? Oh, yeah. Subscribe for more Roblox video tutorials and maybe some minecraft or runescape or whatever i feel like you just gotta deal with it. just kidding um and leave a like if you found this useful and um anyways guys thanks for watching